Welcome Pisces and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind, time is fluid, which means whenever you're actually viewing this, this could represent a past, present, or a future situation for you. If it does not resonate for you, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box below. I'm actually going to do this a little bit differently. I'm actually going to do a general love reading first and then a um, short singles love reading at the end. So just be sure to check out the timestamps for whichever messages resonate for you, okay? All right. Surrender negative thinking. All right. So, you know, Pisces... You may be really worried about a situation right now. It could be a particular person. It could be just, I mean, it doesn't have to necessarily be in just for love. Uh, when it comes to this, um, you have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. Some of you are worried about a situation, a connection, something that you don't have control over. Okay, that's what I want to say. Um, it's this person's actions, their behaviors, you know, um, a, a work situation, family. It's like just constantly thinking about the worst, you know, what if this person doesn't really love me like they say they do? What if, you know, my boss is never going to actually give me that raise they keep promising me to have? You know, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if all these negative thoughts kind of surfacing running around through your head, through your mind, really being fearful of this connection right now. Show me this. Why is Pisces negative thinking right now? Queen of Cups. You're feeling emotional. That's you, you know. This says water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Queen of Cups, male or female, it does not matter. The energy of this card, this is someone who's very loving, very understanding, very compassionate, very empathetic, very intuitive. The Queen of Cups is a healer, okay? This is somebody who gives gives it their all. They give they pour all their emotions. And I feel like for you, Pisces, you're thinking all these negative thoughts because no matter how much love you pour out to this person, to this situation, no matter how much you give to it, you don't seem to receive we don't seem to be receiving what you need. Okay, we have the two of pentacles coming out with the lovers. Now, some of you, you or your person here may have a choice to make in love. Okay. For others of you, it's just choosing how to make this work with this person. It could be a Gemini that you're thinking about, uh, but this this is a card about choices, and so is this. Okay. So this does feel like a very strong soulmate connection that you have with this person. I also want to say for some of you, you could be fearful that this connection is just about lust for this person. They don't have romantic feelings for you or emotional feelings for you. That's your fear. Um, that's you know what you're worried about here. And you're feeling very unbalanced about this. Maybe you need more emotional communication from this person and less, you know, flirtatious communication is what I want to say. And we have the Eight of Cups here. So you're kind of thinking about maybe possibly walking away from this person or this situation, maybe closing that door. Or, you know, some of you actually, if it's this other person, okay, maybe they're making this choice here and that's your fear that they're not going to choose you. You're wondering, are they going to make this choice to leave something behind to be able to reunite with you? Okay, we do have three of pentacles here. Some of you could work with this person, could go to school with this person, uh, or you just want to build something with them. Okay, this is about teamwork. And for some of you, I want to say this could be a secret relationship because kind of like these, you know, it's, it's the people here and like you know, this person's kind of oblivious to what's going on here. Um, now, for some of you, this could be same sex, but it doesn't have to be. But just the energy here, you're both very emotional people. Okay, even if this person doesn't express it or show it, that's what I feel here. Very nurturing, understand. You're both very similar to each other, almost like mirrors. Okay, mirrors. And this person's like not even realizing the tension that's here. That's That's how I'm feeling about it. Let me pull them a romance angel card. Let's see what this per what's going on with this person. Path 
past life relationship you have known to before. This person feels very deeply connected to you, Pisces. This person feels like the two of you are like made for each other. I'm actually noticing under the deck here, we do have release your ex, which says the time has come to clear your energy. So they could, I mean, this person's kind of got their head, their hand over their head here, kind of like this, oh, you know what I mean? But so they're, maybe they're waiting for you to dis disconnect from someone or you're waiting for that, for them to do that, okay? Maybe some of them haven't actually let go of some kind of past baggage, possibly, or, you know, bad past relationship, and it's interfering with you guys. Um, with this, though, it's like they do feel very deeply connected. They, they feel a very intense connection to you, and you feel that as well. That's where a lot of your fear comes in here. All right. What are they thinking about Pisces? What do they think about Pisces? And again, this is general, so it can be flipped to reverse for some of you. Sometimes with deep soul connections, the energy can even scatter around a little bit, okay? They, yeah, they, they think you are a path. They feel like you've spent many lifetimes together. They feel like you're their soulmate, Six of Cups. Some of you could have families, okay? You could have children together for some of you. Six of Cups, they want to come together with you. They feel this very deep past life connection to you. They think of you as somebody who may have even influenced them or taught them a lot too, I want to say. Almost like a mentor, a teacher, something like that. How do they feel about Pisces? The Hermit. It could be a Virgo that you're dealing with specifically. The Hermit, they feel like maybe you are kind of in your head right now or that they have to pull their energy back for whatever reason. What are their feelings? What are their feelings about Pisces? They're kind of in their head right now. They're, they may not be talking to you or there may, may be little communication. They may just feel like you're kind of holding something back or not saying something. They feel a lot of pain here. There could have been a really painful ending. Let me dig a little bit deeper into that. The Eight of Pentacles. They're focused on money. They're focused on work right now. There's pain. There's some kind of painful ending here under the deck. The star. So they're trying to heal Aquarius energy. Some of them, they might, they also feel that if you don't choose them or if they don't choose you, like you're both going to be hurt by this. I mean, the Ten of Swords is a very painful card. They miss you. They maybe feel alone or isolated from you. They may be afraid to approach you. They may see that you're working really hard or you may see that they are. They're maybe preparing an offer here for you as well with that eight of eight of pentacles. They're really in their head about you. They're in their mind. They're maybe have a hard time expressing their emotions. There's a lot of pain here. So, and I want to say this, and again, I'm never going to justify anyone's negative actions, behaviors, etc. We're here to understand them, right? We want to understand this person. You know, you know how you feel, but how do they feel about this? How do they justify this in their mind? What do they truly think about the connection, the situation, right? What do they want to do? With this person, <clears throat> if they're making a choice here, they could be really in their head about it because they know it's going to hurt them to make this choice. Like even if, let's say that they're in another relationship, even if they're not in love with that person and they know that you're the one, okay, they still may care deeply about this person. This could be a soulmate they're with. They, maybe you're their twin flame or, you know, there's, you know, you know what I mean? It's, they may have children with this person. They may have a family and it may hurt them to do that, but they're thinking about making this offer to you, but they just, there's a lot of pain here. I mean, this connection is undeniable. All right, what are their intentions with Pisces, please? What are their intentions with Pisces? Well, fortunately, they're part of their destiny. You're part of their fate. They feel like eventually the two of you will be together. All right, what are their actions toward Pisces? Show me what they're going to do about it. What are their actions toward Pisces? Feels like a messy situation for sure. Not a pentacles. They they intend, their actions are coming towards you. They are moving slowly, but they will come at you surely. This is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. This person, they do plan to come in. They are gonna take it slow. They're not gonna rush here. They do feel like eventually you'll be together. But whatever they've got to sort through, they've got to work on this offer first. They may have to kind of figure out how to detach from a family, from a situation. It's difficult because they know that you're the one for them. You're worried that they're going to walk away from you. I feel like they're only pulling it away. And again, to, to figure out what, how to end this situation. Eight 
Is there any advice, please, for Pisces? Any advice for Pisces in love? Any advice for Pisces, please? Decision. Trust your intuition. Pisces, Cancer, sometimes Virgo energy. You need to trust your... In this. You're confused about this decision. Should you... Because look at that. You're feeling emotional, Queen of Cups, about working together with this person a new opportunity. It's like you're afraid they're holding back from you. There's competition. You're not sure. You could be watching this person online, social media. They could be watching you as well. I mean, with this, I do feel like you're very emotional about working together with them and about this offer. You're undecided if you should keep pursuing this or not. You're, you're in your head a lot about it. You're feeling emotional. You feel like they're pulling away from you. They have a decision. You're confused. You're confused, but you have to trust your intuition here. Okay? Um, I feel like this for you, there's a decision you need to make. You need to really think long and hard about it. I do feel like this person isn't going to give up. Okay? Even if it takes a year. Okay? For, for some of you, again, this is general. Time frames are different for everyone. But with this person, they... This is this is a, it's a messy, messy situation. Is what I want. It's sticky. Okay, they they can't just out of whatever they're dealing with. Okay, or maybe you can't. Maybe both of you. Trust your intuition. There's a choice to be made, but you're gonna have to look deep within about it. Really weigh the pros and cons. Look at all of your options objectively. Maybe talk to this person about that, because they will come back, and it's gonna be up to you. You're gonna have a difficult decision to make. All right, so this was for the general love reading. I'm going to clear this out and pull a couple of cards quickly for singles and see who's coming in for you guys. Definitely let me know if you like this new style of reading in the comments below. I'm going to pull a different deck real quick. All right. Sorry about that. Four singles. Who, what is coming in for you guys? Four single Pisces, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, single Pisces. What can you look forward to here? And for my singles, some of you actually can watch the general as well. If you guys are just pull, popping in here and you're single. Okay, now you, some of you actually could have been a long-term connection with this person in the past or could have some kind of family tie to this person. Like I said, some of you, this may be a past person trying to come back. Maybe you had a, maybe you had kids with them or they wanted to build, you wanted to build a life with this person at one point, but it was too difficult. Let's see what's going on with that. Could be a Leo specifically. We also have a little bit of water, a little bit of fire here. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Moon. You have some kind of clarity about something you weren't sure about before. This person that maybe you did think about building a life with. But maybe, you know, you're kind of trapped in your head about it because you don't so you don't want to repeat, repeat of the past. They're going to have to really prove it to you. There could be someone here that you work with. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be a Virgo. Maybe they've been kind of um, in their head. But they're going to talk to you, break the ice. You're a little bit nervous to, or hesitant to kind of talk with this person. Libra energy here because maybe this person, I feel like this person was divorced. Okay, whether this is an ex of yours or just someone that you're interested in that maybe was previously divorced. You've been waiting for this person to make a move towards you. They could have had a family. Maybe it was too difficult. Some of you actually may work with them. I want to say that too. But there's some kind of clarity about something you're really uncertain about. This person that maybe you felt kind of stuck, waiting for them to make a move. Now they're all of a sudden, like, you're working, they're coming to talk to you. You're a little bit shy because you want to make sure that they have cleared any kind of tie, any kind of cord. I feel like they have. Okay, I feel like they have. And I feel like they are, you know, coming in here seriously now. They're, they're really making the moves. You're very guarded, very defensive, okay? They just want to talk to you. They want to get to know you. I feel like you've known this person, either through friends, family, work. Maybe uh, you dated someone, this person in the past. For some of you, that's not for all of you, though. Uh, I feel with this, it's like you're nervous because they had some kind of past situation, but they're going to tell you the truth about it. You know, you know, yes, we are separated. Our divorce is now finalized, but I still see the kids on the weekend or blah, 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 or I have custody. You get what I'm saying? Like, they're going to tell you about the things you've been curious about. You do like this person, but you're shy. Like, you're nervous. Like, you don't want to just 
you're very cautious very guarded with your heart you definitely need justice balance here this person they want to talk to you though it's like they freed themselves from something from the past and now they're free to come towards you so just, you know, hear the person out because I feel like you want answers anyway from them, whether you choose to pursue it or not. But this person, I do feel like they're coming in correctly towards you. They've made sure they've cleared out anything from the past negatively. They're going to be very open, very honest with you. Okay. All right. So this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.